You can see it in so many period dramas. So beautiful. I just can't get it. So this is the this boat woodland series. See, this is nice as well. Mm. I love the chin series. It's so playful and colourful. Look at the gorgeous terrains. It's the end of October and it's actually time to think about Christmas. Yes, because it's only two months. No. Two more months to go, yes. And we came to Stoke-on-Trent for some early Christmas English, China and pottery shopping. Yeah, because you can get really nice gifts here. Yes, you find so many factory shops. And because we plan to go to Germany in December for Christmas, of course, we thought it would be a good idea because we will definitely find something. Yeah. And this year we wanted to start early. Yes, we want to start early. Now, this is the Spoke Museum Trust Heritage Center. So it's not only a museum, but they have a wonderful shop. And let's see if we can find something. What's that tree? Look, Christmassy. It's getting all Christmassy. Now this is from, from 1938. So, very old, or quite old. Yeah. The design is from 1940. Yeah. This is the the Christmas plate from from 1978. Yes. This is 1970. Yeah. Oh, can you hold this and I can film it? This is from 1971. An the angel. year I was born. Yeah, an angel. Yeah. And that's 1972. Oh, that's that's gorgeous. Look. Mm -hmm. I love this. I just can't help it, but I love it. Look, this is just five pounds. I've always loved this, and you can see it in so many period dramas. They use it all the time. And this is from the so-called Byron series. So beautiful. I just can't get them off. I can't get them off. It's like a real obsession. See, you definitely need to come here. This teapot is ten pounds. I just love these containers for herbs. We should get some. Look. Hmm? I Maybe just. Pepper. I love them. So this is the this boat woodland series and we are thinking of getting um, two soup plates yeah. or soup yes yeah, soup plates to complete our little set. I just I love this one as well. What's Chinese rose? Chinese rose, yeah. I love this. I love everything. completely in love with this. 
I simply love coming here. I, I love the Spirit Museum shop. Yeah, it's a bit old fashioned, and but the music was wonderful in the shop. Yeah, it's 2030s music. Yeah, it's so so fun. It's really quirky, and you can find amazing deals. Yeah, we were the only ones in the shop, and I always think, why? Yeah, that's a bit sad. It's so yeah. sad because it's such a great place to support. So if you're in the area, and if you have a real obsession. Yeah, like session. I do, yeah. <laughs> with China and pottery, this yeah. is the place to yeah. be. You'll find a lot of nice things. Here. And our next stop is Duchess China 1888. And we haven't been here before. They produce fine bone china since 1888. And I think they have beautiful things. So let's check it out. really nice. Lovely Christmas baubles. They make such a lovely present, I think. See, this is nice as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, take that one. And another one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah. I love the chin series. So playful and colourful. That was fun. I really love that Alice in Wonderland series. Me too. It just it just makes you happy yes, and smile. Yes. And they had a had a mug where it said, We're all mad here. <laughs> yeah. That that's very fitting. Yeah. <laughs> and although the shop the shop is tiny, but they have lovely things yeah. and they offered us to do a tour next year and, and we can film it for YouTube. Yeah, so you can see how they make these wonderful things. So we'll, we will definitely do that and we loved it and they have amazing clients. We didn't really have this shop on our radar. No, no. But they make premium things. They do China for Fortnum and Mason, Jimmy Choo, Burberry, so... A lot of yeah. top brands. And as you've seen, we bought some Christmas baubles, but of course we will share more of it once yeah. we're at home. Yeah, we need more gifts. We, yes, we need more. And of course we have to come to Wetchwood as well. Yeah, once again. Yes. Not only to browse, we said we are a little bit thirsty and yeah. fancy a couple. Yeah, and I'm hungry. Yeah, and maybe they have a spot, so let's have a look. makes you thirsty and hungry as well. So we stopped for tea. I chose Ceylon tea and yeah, went for Wonderlust Blue Pagoda. Yeah. I think I had that last time. Yeah. It's yeah. really good. It's
That'd be good. Yeah, that'd be good. And we ordered a tree of cakes and I think this is apple tart. Apple crumble. A apple crumble. This is some sort of brownie. With caramel. Yeah. Yep. And a macaron. Yep. Of course. And some strawberries and raspberries. It looks very nice. Yeah. And this is the gluten free version. And look at the gorgeous place. Very, very pretty. I really love this series. It's called Heartland. It's so beautiful. Sick, isn't it? Yep. It's very, very nice. Look at this one. This is so expensive. Like the, the small plate, I think. Yep. This one is 800 pounds. Yeah, think about it. You eat a cake which costs you two pounds <laughs> or a plate which costs 800 pounds. This series is called As Asbury Black. Yeah. This is such a classic as well. This. Mm -hmm. The tea was very nice, yes, wasn't it? Yes, very good. And the little cakes were very, very lovely. Mm, delicious. But unfortunately, we leave Wedgwood empty-handed. Yes, because we want to have gifts where we can tell a story and say, look, we've been produced here. Yeah. Now, when I looked at the packaging, it says some of the mugs made in Indonesia. Yeah, because we were thinking of getting two mugs, but they're, they're all made here. And yeah, so, and yeah, so we can't tell the story. Look, that's something which it's produced in the UK. Yeah, exactly. So we have one last stop, which is of course Burley. Yeah. We can't leave Stoke on Trent yes. without going to Burley. Yeah. Okay, let's go there now. And we hope it's okay that we film our visit to the Middleport factory once more. But whenever we come to Stoke on Trent, we just have to come here because we use Burley pottery on a daily basis and we just add to our collection and usually we find a couple of pieces. Let's go to the shop. Yeah. There's yes. no rest. No rest for the wicked. No. I hope we can find a gift or two. We will. I'm sure. Let's go. You need a cow creamer for the office, no. don't you think? <laughs> <laughs> Certainly I do. I love it. Oh my gosh, man. Yes. So. And look at the gorgeous terrains. Okay. Hmm. And that's... That? You've got this one? Yeah, that's the one I've got in my office. Mm -hmm. Oh, sweets. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's empty now. Yeah, I bet it is. And you have, of course, you have this gorgeous mug. Yep. Oh, it's it's called Breakfast Cup. Yeah. And you also have, don't you have like? Yes, for my coffee. For your coffee. You need more. <laughs> Can't get enough of it. Now, last time, Jörg, yeah, we bought the soup balls, yeah. but this time, no. this is soup. No, this is soup. You've got the pasta bowls. Or pa sure? pa yes, absolutely. Turn it around and then you, you can see it. That's for pasta. Yeah, it says pasta. Yes, bowl. and we should get a couple of these. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. A 
and we have the blue and pink asiatic pheasants and this is new the green asiatic pheasants and i think it's absolutely stunning it's such a classic and traditional color And we're back home and I think you might be interested to see what we bought and of course we will share with you now. This is what we came home with and I can't wait to unwrap. Now this bag contains everything from Duchess China but I think also some of the spoke pieces. Let's see. Oh, I need to be very careful. Okay, let's begin with a spoke piece. As you can see, this is one of the three containers we bought and this is for nutmeg. Okay, here's another container and this is for basil. And here we have thyme. Nutmeg, thyme, basil. And, and I thought I would share the price as well. So one container or pot was 12 pounds. Okay, I think this is the container from Duchess China that we want to use for loose tea. Let's see. This is part one. And now the lid. There you go. We think that's so pretty. And this was six pounds because it's, it's a second, so it might have a fault or something, but honestly, we don't care at all. We fell in love with it and it's stunning. So we bought things for us, we just couldn't help it. But of course, we got some Christmas presents for our family as well. And because some of them watch our channel, we won't be sharing who gets what. They might watch the video and think, hmm, will this be for me? Well, keep on guessing. We won't be telling you. Right. This should be a Christmas bauble. This is from Alice in Wonderland. There you go. And on one side it says, if it were so, it might be. And this is the price for one bauble, $13.95, but of course made here in England. Bauble number two, and this is from the Chins collection, which is very, very beautiful. It's very, very playful and looks like this absolutely gorgeous. Bauble number three. I really love this Christmas bauble because it's so traditional. And another bauble and I think this is one from Alice in Wonderland. And it looks like this. I love it. This bag contains burley and I think more spode. Okay, these are the soup balls or soup plates. And this is what we got already, just two sets because we don't use this every day. Just, we use it in winter and autumn because it looks so stunning. And it's from the Woodland collection. So these are two small plates that we bought last year. And 
two dinner plates and they just look so, so gorgeous. I love it. And one bowl was £12. Oh yes, that's actually, that's also, this is another gift and this is from, from Burley from their Blue Regal Peacock series. This was um, a little bit more expensive, so this was £25, but I think Jörg said this is from a, a limited edition. Yes, it's a limited edition. So, yeah. Uh -huh. But I really love the size and the shape shape of the mug. Okay, it's a big one. Just as a comparison, this is the early black regal peacock that we have at home, and this is a so-called breakfast mug. As you can see, the breakfast mug is very big, and this is a a coffee mug. Oh yes, another another gift. And these are two beautiful espresso cups that we bought as a gift. And this is the pattern blue calico. So the cup was 1680 and and the saucer was 1120. Yeah, 1120. So you can see it's not cheap, but it's made it's made in the UK and that just makes it more expensive. The last thing, I hope you're not bored. Two pasta. Does it say, I have to double check. Um, yeah, pasta, pasta balls. And they were actually a bargain for Burley because they were 12 pounds each and 16.80 before. Uh, Yuck, I don't know, it said 24 before. Do you think that's the regular plot price, yeah. the 24? Yes. yes. And looking like this. And this is our loot. Well, it's a start for Christmas presents. Yeah. And we were a bit selfish and bought things for us as well. What I want to say is that uh, now we know these things are very expensive and it's simply now they're getting more expensive because of the high energy cost used to produce them. Yeah. Because think, you have to burn China. Yeah. Uh, and gas prices are doubling, tripling. So uh, the, ex the prices of these things are getting more and more expensive. Yeah, unfortunate. Yeah. But we think it's still worth supporting those brands. Yes, because they're an important part of UK's history. Yeah, otherwise they will disappear. And that's why our approach is we don't buy the things all at once, we just collect them throughout the years. Yeah, piece by piece. Yeah, and we hope you like the video. And what we will do is we will mention the brands down below in the info box in case you want to have a look because we think they are absolutely beautiful. And I just I said to Jörg again, Spo the Spoet shop is so wonderful. Yeah, you love that shop. I just I love the music in there, and the pieces are so special and quite cheap yeah and um, yeah we'll see you again very soon and take care yeah until next time bye 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 bye